What's up everybody, this is JC from Hobby Monster. Today I just want to have a quick video of what my probably last two, uh, last three group break results were. And then I want to give you a quick um, of my, uh, my, my, my take from, uh, um, from the group break. So, because I've seen a lot of people who are actually asking me questions about um, who are who are my favorite group breakers are, and then what, how does it work, and how much it does it cost, and stuff like that. Uh, group breaks are basically um, uh, one person or a group who's organizing a, a bunch of different mixture or one product. So they're basically breaking the entire case or even a couple boxes or different mixer of the same sports or multi sports, even like entertainment cards and stuff like that. But you know the the takeaway from there the benefit of doing the group pro breaks is you can actually you don't have to buy every single boxes right sometimes it can be super costly if you want to buy like five six boxes it can cost you easily like 600 or even up to thousand or even for the high-end product it can go all the way up to like four to five thousand and you don't need that much money you only need like you know as low as like you know 30 somewhat boxes boxes or even all the way up to like 190 or 200 and 400 dollars whatever depending on the what are the buying formats are like it could be auction or it could be um, you know actually define your team or even completely random teams so there are different formats so that that's where the uh, price point are coming in so I just wanted to make sure that um, it's a gamble um, obviously especially if you're doing a random team uh, if you're doing baseball there's 30 teams out there and um, there's only so many cards you can pull from one box um, other than like tops or donmas and stuff like that but if you go for the higher end one there may be like eight cards in the entire box and you have to uh, hit at least one team um, if you want to break even or even come out uh, with the uh, benefits at the end of the day but you may not be uh, it's so easy to um, uh, come out empty-handed rightfully so that's the gamble you're paying for and sometimes you can get a lot out of it you may pull like Peter Alonso rookie autograph card number it out of 10 that can easily eat up all your losses or even like you know give you a ton of uh, uh, ton of profits at the end of the day but again that's a rare cases right so it may sometimes it may suck up your money and um, collector all like I think you mentioned about like you've, you've been doing that before but then it can easily uh, suck up your money at some point um, it's happening to me sometimes and sometimes I, I literally spend like a hundred dollars for nothing and obviously those hobby break uh, the group breakers are they try to fill you in as much as possible they try to uh, you know give you a couple packs here and there just to kind of offs to help you out in terms of like you're spending that much money for nothing but on the other hand like some people will actually get a lot of uh, good hits out of it so um, please be mindful when you're trying to do the group break especially if it's a randomized it's a gamble um, but again it, it does come with a cost but it also gives you a high upside as well so if you're willing to try it out I would recommend you to try it out like one or two don't try to do too many don't try to do too um, um, with the too many different breakers do the ones who are pretty well known there's a steel city breakers out there there's a latent sport card I started with a steel city at one point and then then I moved to do more of an auction in eBay uh, on eBay, there are a bunch of breakers out there. Um, most of them are pre-trusted. Pre um, they're doing the live break on YouTube, and then there's a bunch of, um, um, you know, the, the, there are a bunch of people on the channel, so people are watching the thing, and then they usually send their pro, uh, their um, outcomes within a week time frame. So they are pre-trusted. Uh, it's just a matter of the format, and then the what are the product that they're pulling is something that you want. You might want to kind of balance it out with. So. Um, just wanted to say something on the group break. So uh, again, I'm sharing all these group break results. Sometimes I may not be able to share it because I didn't win anything. But I'm not posting it on the uh, YouTube. So if I if I win something, it feels like oh man, you, like JC is actually getting this much of like a um, outcome from the group break. But that may not be the truth, right? I'm only showing the ones that I actually won something or I got hit something. I, I, like I said multiple times, I, I went empty-ended multiple times too. That's not being shared on the YouTube. So um, when you're trying to make the decision, uh, make sure that you are fully aware. You may go empty-ended, and hopefully that money is uh, totally, um, like, I mean, you, you don't want to lose your money like that, but then it's something that is discretionary spent, okay? It's not like, 
um, hopefully that doesn't really uh, bother you even though you go empty-handed but it's, it's again like the fun is there like when you're breaking and you're you're communicating uh, socializing with the people online and try to see um, the core cards pulling out from the uh, some of the product you may not be able to buy um, as a hobby bar so anyway so um, I did one of the inception break and uh, white socks I think is a 12 cases and then there was a quite some of some amount of money but uh, I didn't get anything cool so I got Eloy um, green inception parallel out of not number um, yeah and then there's a Eloy and then there's a Dylan C's rookie card so because of that they gave me they throw in these three packs conference greats upper deck I think I I uh, did open up some of these I think it's football right but anyways we're gonna open that up um, and then one of the uh, empty ended break they sent me uh, this Donruss hobby pack um, again I don't know how much exactly I spent like it was like 40 60 bucks uh, for like a, a one team and then I literally got not a single card and then that's what they sent me so again like they did their best to like uh, to make you feel a little better um, but that's that can easily happen all right and then last break i did i think i did the uh, uh, 49ers on optic and i didn't win that big so i got this access and nose for richard sherman and jimmy g uh, numbered out of 75 and then this is just the solomon trent taylor and then solomon thomas so again like i did not win anything so what they did was they sent me this uh, 100 card slips i'll oh, lovely gladly take it it's a dollar worth and then they sent me i think it's a retail pack can't be hobby i don't think an 18 donruss football um so we're gonna open up these packs so again like the, the key takeaway from the group breaks you may go empty ended and it and this is a true gamble but it does have big risk but at the same time it does have a big uh high reward uh sometimes so if you do have a disc discretionary spend that you want to try it out go ahead but don't try to uh don't don't try to play and don't try to gamble on it because it's i don't I, honestly i don't think it's worth it anyways all right we're gonna do donruss 2015 who's in 2015 let's see it all right we got rookie of mike michael franco who was actually pretty good at one point and we got Giancarlo Stanton, Donruss Preferred. Looks like I'm ready to insert. Oh, I was upside down. Justin Berlinder, Corey Kluber, Jimmy Rollins, good old Rollins, Sonny Gray with the age uniform, Edwin Incarnacion, and James Loney. All right, so let's move on to conference greats. I don't know what I pull. Like I, I got the same pack from one of the breaker. I'm not sure what I had last time. Robert Brooks, Derek Tate. These are all the college card. So and we got conference schedule. Babe Pearly and Lamine Burrow. I think it's a, a bronze foil or some sort. Parallel and then big fat filler and whoa. we got Johnny Mangel and then EJ Gaines. All right, this seems like a gold foil and then this is Johnny Mangel who could have been a good card but not anymore. Lomas Brian Brown. All right, next one. <clears throat> we got Duke Staley schedule. We got Crack East. Memorable moments of Chris Davis and uh, Anthony Lucas. Is this a gold? Yep, looks like gold. And a uh, schedule Bart Star and Danielle McCullers. Okay, last nice conference grades. We got Tyron Gusson, Team Couch, Dante Moncliff. That's uh, his rookie year. Um, Doc Johnson, Zach Mettenberger, and uh, Big Fat Filler, McCuller, 
Cole, Anthony Lucas, and Jarvis Landry. That's his rookie year. All right, so not much. Let's look at five packs of Adonis football. So the uh, last packs from a um, group break. Chris Carson, Devin McCourty, Job Thomas, Malik Hooker, Devontae Parker, Carlos Dunlap, and passing yard Drew Brees insert, and PJ Hall is a rookie. Alright. It's a 2018, so I can still pull Lamar Jackson or my, uh, my PC Nick Chubb. Chris Harris Jr., Eli Manning, Mitch Trubisky. All right, let me just redo the focus. Jarek McKinnon, LeSean McCoy, Mike Alstead, CJ Mosley, and Danny Atling. He could have been a uh, Jared Stidham, um, but good. I think he's one of the quarterbacks who was who was kind of was considered as a Tom Brady's replacement, but now Jared Siddham is possible, but like Edling was no longer available. Deshaun Watson, speaking of Tom Brady, um, Antonio Brown, Eric Berry, uh, Jadev uh, Jadevian Clowney, Jonathan Ogden, Mark Brunel, and Vita Villa. All right, last two packs. Take a look, Doc Prescott, Russell Wilson, Rob Kronkowski, Vic Beasley Jr., Petty Mahomes, second year card, Malik Hooker, Devontae Parker, and Raider rookie of Braxton Berrios. Nice. He's, um, I don't think he's in the team anymore. He's a wide receiver. All right, Stefan Diggs, Ron Jaworski, Bo Jackson, Kareem Hunt, DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Evans, Zay Jones, and Daniel Ward. All right, so that's all the packs that I um, I opened up for from the group break. Again, um, this video is just for the uh, educational only, like based on my experience. This is this is a takeaway. Again, don't get me wrong, like, um, it is a true gamble, but at the same time, you can still get with, uh, get a high reward if you land a good team or if you end up getting a good packs or a good box, whatever. But it's a total based on the luck and then it's, it's a red, better gamble than anything else. So um, if you are fully aware, then, then go buy and go participate. Um, I want you to fully aware that what's you, what you're getting yourself into. And then if you're okay with it, then it's all, there's a lot of fun to it, and you can always get get away, um, get out of uh, the break with the uh, the crazy card at the end of the day. So, uh, anyways, that's my take, and these were the packs that I got from uh, from those uh, missed break. Um, but wanted to share that with you today. All right, um, I'm gonna come back with more hobby boxes soon, and there's a one more uh, uh, one more subscription box coming to my way. So please stay tuned for those. In the meantime, please stay strong, stay safe, stay inside, and uh, till my next video, please stay happy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.